Hi, I'm Mike, and I've been using Debian for a long time now, and I've released several videos where I've shown my terminal and screen fetch or neo fetch or what have you has been on the screen. And the more observant among you may have noticed that in the last couple of videos that my screen fetch has displayed bullseye slash Sid instead of Buster. So in this video, I want to go over the reasons why I jumped from Buster to testing or bullseye as it were. And there's three main reasons I did it. Let's get started. So here we are at my terminal and as you can see that I'm running uh, Debian Linux bullseye slash Sid. Uh, my kernel version is 5.2 and with the more recent kernel I'm actually getting marginally increased performance in games and even though with my slightly underpowered GPU my little R9 380X it's actually performing a little bit better but that is actually the least important reason why I switched okay here we are in OBS I'm, I'm peaking a little bit okay I'll try to fix that later so if I go to settings and I go to output my encoder FFmpeg VAAPI that is AMD's hardware acceleration I was unable to get that running in Buster by default. I tried the snap package with less than stellar results. I've tried several different things, you know, different builds, different plugins, this, that, and the other, and with less than great luck. But since upgrading to Bullseye, VA API works flawlessly out of the box. So, very nice. And the other reason why I did it is in Caden Live. I was able to get AMD hardware acceleration working properly out of the box. VA API hardware encoders found and enabled. That has actually decreased my render times by, it's actually cut them in half, I believe. So a little short video like this, I can usually encode it with, you know, at 2560 by 1440 and usually a little slower than real time. Now I can encode, now I can render it out in about half time. It's great. Because the way I edit, I don't add a bunch of filters and this, that, and the other. I mean, I might do a little bit of color correction, maybe a little audio adjustment, maybe, you know, have some cut, have some jump cuts, some you know fade to blacks, and this, that, and the other, but really nothing fancy. So, I mean, if I had you know seven or eight different layers in Caden Live going all at one time, it would probably be even more performance gained, or it would actually take way way longer if I was using just the CPU. But anyway, that's about all I've got for today. I just kind of wanted to go over the reasons why I swapped over from Buster to Bullseye. And even though it is uh, Debian testing and not Debian stable, I've had absolutely no problems whatsoever. I've been running this for about three weeks now, and there has been zero issues. If you're in Buster right now and you get the shiny new stuff syndrome that they kind of warn you about, try Bullseye. I've been very, very happy with it. And yeah, it's good stuff. Thank y'all for watching. Y'all have a nice evening. Like, share, and subscribe. With the default. Or I could see where it would probably take a look. And I was unable to get... You know, I was unable. Oh, bleh. Words are hard.